YouTube, we're here today again just to assist you again just to solve some simple problems you might be having in and around the home, especially with your PC. So, do it yourself, fix guy. He's just here to assist you with another helpful tutorial. Now, today we'll be looking at a multimeter or a general purpose um, all around um, tester that we use for testing stuff like voltage and continuity in wires and so on. The particular model I'll be using today is the Innova 3320. Now this one was um, designed for automobiles but it was relatively cheap. You can get this on um, Amazon and so on for roughly around $20 or $22. I can't really remember the price right now. Uh, but basically you can still, although it's for automotive purposes, it still can serve your purpose for fixing just around household stuff and electronics. Um, I'm a PC guy myself. But um, I find it very handy when I'm dealing with my gadgets and fixing my gadgets. So for today, I'm just going to show you some quick tips to start you off in terms of using a handy multimeter. How this can save you a lot of time and trouble in um, your repairs. All right. Now, um, first of all, just a quick run through of this meter. It's built with several different functions. Um, we're looking at about three of those functions today, and show sure you can um, use them around the house in some um, do-it-yourself farm. Um, um, repairs. Um, it comes with a handy strap on the back that can be used to affix the device to your arm. Um, and that's handy in case uh, you're working in very tight spaces. Um, as you can see here, it comes with um, two tips the black for the negative pole and the red for the positive pole. And it comes with these neat little um, tips that you can remove to protect the, 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 the contact points. All right. so as you can see here. Now, um, one of the most useful things I use this to do is to test for continuity. Now, that's just a fancy term that basically means um, when you want to see if there's a break in a wire. For example, um, one problem I have is with these um, um, power cards. Now, sometimes your PC won't power, as you have found out if you were watching my last video, that the main cause can be that there's a break somewhere within the, the wire. Now, what you can actually do is you can use your handy multimeter and you can quickly use it to test this wire. It basically plugs into the AC um, of your wall and connects to your PC power supply. What we'll actually do is to get your multimeter and you'll switch it over to the continuity test that's right there. Alright, um, you hear that beep? You see the symbol here for continuity as you see it here. And what we basically do here is that what that means is that if there is a continuous um, lead between the two wires, right, it will actually give you a beep as you can quickly test it by touching the negative and the positive poles. Right? So if there's no break in the wire, what will happen is that the signal will carry through. There's no noise, it will tell you that there's a break in the wire. So I'm gonna test to see if this card is good. You can see here, I place it in this hole over here that is the ground and on the on the, the card itself what I'm going to touch this pole that corresponds to this end. So we should, if the card is good, we should get a beep. All right, there you have a strong sound continuous beep indicating that it continues. Now I'm going to move it over to the other poles and as you can see here trying to actually hold it while doing this see we get a continuous beep all right good come over here you go again as you can see here this tells me that this wire is good so if this was a wire that i was um wondering if it was good or not i could know that it's good now because i'm getting a continuous signal from here to this contact point from here to here and from here to here meaning that the, there's no breakage in the wire so this card is good so if it was a power supply I was testing um, the problem would not be in the card here so that's a quick test you can use on several other wires that you need to find out whether or not they are broken or they're not working all right I'm gonna put this away all right another handy test is to test your batteries now this is a single cell actually two of these would give you a battery um, here, we just have a single cell, and to test this now, whether or not it's giving off the correct voltage, what we'll do is to actually 
look at the battery and you'd search for the voltage as you can see you should be getting a roughly 1.2 um, volts right as you can see there's a positive terminal which is this end there's a negative terminal which is this end over here so what you actually do is to associate the negative end with the black contact point here so you get see there and then you would actually connect this to the positive but before that make sure that you switch your multimeter over to the appropriate setting which is the battery load test and what we're looking for is the closest voltage to or that matches to your battery or the battery that you're testing you can look here at 1.5 um, volts we have um, 6 volt 9 volt and 12 volt i'll set mine to 1.5 seeing that the battery should be giving you roughly around 1.2 i connect the terminals and as you can see just look at the meter over there as you can see the reading on the meter over here is giving you 1.316 all right so that tells you that this battery is very very good actually it's a rechargeable duracell all right so this is well charged right so and uh, basically overflowing with power so you can do this with any battery as long as you can identify the positive and negative terminals so this battery is very good and um, i don't have to recharge it in case I needed to recharge it if it was very very low I'll draw from my handy DRSL um, charger right? and now for the grand finale test we'll be using the multimeter again and we'll be do use switching it over to the AC setting and what we're gonna do is actually go to the wall and we're gonna actually test to show you how you can use the AC settings to actually test the power that is coming okay so wall. we're back all right so as we said before we're here at the outlet as you can see this is my um, outlet the AC outlet um, simply take my handy multimeter as you can see it's now attached to my wrist as I was telling you very handy and we're in a, a tight space between the couches here so as I said you're gonna switch it to the AC setting sorry okay and now it's on the AC setting and as you can see here um, at the wall you have the ground and we have the, the two terminals here now at the wall the negative and positive don't really matter so you don't have to really worry about which one is negative and which one is positive all right so I'm gonna call the gonna take the negative and I'm gonna connect it to the the base down there and then now and pay close attention to the meter and I'm going to connect this one up here to the outlet there. Make sure they're making good contact. Alright. So if you watch the meter very carefully, once I'm making good contact, you should be seeing the correct voltage on the on the meter. So, as I was right? saying, you have to make sure you're getting good contact. Alright, okay, there we go. I found it. If you look at the meter reading, I'm getting 116.4 volts. Now the power coming to the house is actually 120. Now, of course, you must be wondering why is it that I'm not seeing the full 120. Now, um, uh, these meters are um, very, um, are varying levels of sensitivity. A more expensive meter will give you a better sensitivity. But actually, um, with power, you'll realize that you don't always get the the full amount. It will vary. So, if it's the 120 power coming to the house, you might realize that it's a few. Um, volts short but this is quite fine we have 115 116 volts kind of dancing around there so this tells you that basically um the power coming to the house is okay remember make sure that the terminals inside of the outlet that the, the testers um, pins are making full contact with them so you should get a correct reading in that case all right okay now that's it um i hope this tutorial was helpful um Multimeters are quite useful and if you are getting into gadget repair or you just like to hmm, mess around and, and um, learn new things, it's a handy tool to have. So let's go out and get it. Um, it's very cheap at roughly around $20. Alright, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.